Hello, I'm Elaine Millers and I've lived in Mount Morgan all my life. Grew up here, went to school here, watched it grow and then sometimes it, it didn't grow, it went down, but still, it's still with us and we have some wonderful places in this town. The one that I'm particularly interested in was used to be Stewart's Building and it was used for many things during the war, after the war and eventually we, it became a place for the Mount Morgan Little Theatre Group. It was a group started by, with the, with the great help of Mr. Glennis the Shield, who was the general manager of Mount Morgan Limited. He loved to be able to help things that were for the community and he felt that this could be something great, a little theatre company. We started off really in the Church of England uh, hall small hall but it did have a stage we did little th uh, one act plays there went off very well and finally we got to the stage where we were really going to get into the big stuff and we decided to do a three act play and we chose Blythe Spirit so it's a wonderful old play one of Noel Coward's and uh, we went to the School of Arts for that one unfortunately it's not it's not the place where you can get on a stage and your voice will travel too far. So it was hard work. But the play was a huge success and we felt, oh, we'd started. We were on our way with a little theatre group. Then, of course, we thought, well, we've got to have somewhere nice. We've got to have somewhere where we can entertain the people of Mount Morgan in. And Mr. Scheel said we could have this lovely building. We thought, well, what are we going to do? We haven't got a stage, we've got nothing. We've only got a building. When Mr. Shield had finished, we had a lovely stage, rooms where we could dress, and enough for us to seat around about 90 to 100 people, which was great for us in those days. So we had somewhere where we could rehearse, and it was gladly given to us because we were doing something for the community. We loved it, it was hard work, hated learning lines, but I did enjoy being on the stage. Um, I felt at home quite there, as most of us did, once we got used to it. And we were always happy that when we're going to do a new play, we'd line up to see what part we were going to get. As I said, it was hard work, but we had some very talented people in this group. It's not just acting. You have to have people who can do stage work, to costuming and setting up the, the stage was a, a big thing. And our beginning man was a Barry McKnight who had wonderful ideas and his love of the theatre was shown quite in the things that he could do for us.